Okay, so first of all, double click on the axes to open up the formatting bar, then go to the fill bucket and change the line to a gradient line. Then delete two of the gradient stops, change one of the gradient stops to be the color white and position it at 50%. Then change the other one to black and also position that at 50%. And now you'll see on the axes, we have a line on only half of the axes. By putting the two gradient stops over the top of each other, instead of there being a gradient, there is a sharp change from one color to the other. Now, if you want the black part of this line to be on the bottom instead, you can swap around the colors and change this one to black and this one to white, then reposition this one at 50%. And that puts the line on the bottom. Or you can change the direction to 270 degrees. And that puts the line back on the top again. And we can change the angle to 90 degrees to put the line back on the bottom. Now, if I change the chart background to a solid color, you'll see there is this white line here. If you want to remove that completely, drag out the white gradient stop and increase the transparency to 100% and then change this back to 50%. And now the line has disappeared completely. Now, if you want to have more than one change in color, I recommend dragging out the formatting bar so you have more space. Then add in two more gradient stops and position both of these at 33%. So the first line only goes a third of the way up the axis. Then change this one to white and move it to 66% and move this one to 66% as well. So that the second line starts two thirds of the way up the axis. And now we have two lines here. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to put a line on only part of the axes in an Excel chart. If you want to see how I removed the axes labels from here, you can watch my previous video. And that is everything.